Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to disable keys on the keyboard. Uh, so let's say you have a specific key like the Windows key that you don't like to use because when you press it on accident, let's say you're trying to press Control or Alt and you hit the Windows key, then you get your Start menu. You could disable that or you could use it for other keys. Alright, so what you want to do is first install the Windows Power Toys app. So this is a free program you could download and run. And has all kinds of built-in tools on it here. So once you have it installed, you just want to go to the keyboard manager and then open the settings for the keyboard manager. Then you need to make sure it's turned on, like so. Alright, so once you have it turned on, all you need to do is go down to remap a key. So how it works is you select a key you want to change and then configure the key or shortcut that you want to do to send it to. Okay, so to disable a key, it's a little bit easier than that actually. So you click on Add Key Remapping. Alright, click on Select. So now we need to press the key we want to disable. So in our case, we're going to do the left Windows key. So we'll press that. So we have Win Left. Click OK. And then right here, here's your Send Options. But we want to go to the top here and click on Disable. And then click on OK and you're going to get a warning saying the following keys do not have assignments. That's fine because we're just disabling it, so we'll continue anyways. Alright, so now if I press the Windows key, nothing. But if I press the right Windows key, I still have my Start menu. And then of course, like I said, you could use this for other keys as well. So if you have a certain key that you're always pressing on accident that you don't need, and you want to disable it, you know, let's say uh, Caps Lock, you're accidentally turning that on when you're trying to press Tab, and so on, you could use this program to do so. All right, so you could find the Power Toys program in the Microsoft Store. Just do a search for it, look for this icon, and install it. And then just go to the Keyboard Manager, make sure it's turned on. And then once you have something set up, you could click this guy here to expand it. And then you could come in here, add some more, or you could edit it, or you could actually just click on the trash can to delete it. And now we have the left Windows key back, like so. All right, so it's pretty simple to use, and you might want to check out some of the other features as well. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.